Hello again. We're doing the uh, today. I'm going to do the zero tolerance 0770 carbon fiber auto assist. So um, really nice knife. I went and received it um, the other day and went ahead and reviewed it. Did the testing and review. Finish it up. Finish it up last night. Uh, it's it's a uh, relatively new model. It's carbon fiber. It's got a L Max blade. It's about eighth inch thick, roughly. Uh, three and a quarter inch blade. Deep pocket deep pocket carry clip. It's a liner lock. It's got a nice size pivot. So worked out really well. So. But yeah, the knife did um, did the testing. I did the rope, the cardboard, and the wood. So, and started out with the rope, and it did 340 cuts, basically like this. Just heel to heel to tip, cut made 340 cuts that way. So, did really well. Then I cut a bunch of cardboard up, and went ahead and stopped when it. Because it was tearing the cardboard I've used this time was really dirty. I don't know what happened, but it was really bad. And uh, so, you know, it didn't cut quite as much as I did with the other knives, but but it did really well considering I knew what that cardboard does to the edges. So it dulled it pretty quick. So it dulled any knife quick. So anyway, so then I went to the, to the wood. This is what I did with the wood. I made some really thick and thin cuts and fuzzy sticks and things like that with it. So cuts really well so it's really really does a nice job but you can use it harder harder use also I mean, it's just not gonna, you know it's not gonna fall apart on you so yeah do a good job doing that holds L Max holding edge really well so so of course I resharpened it after the testing but it's just Peels it right off. So, did a really good job. It's holding the edge, so it's easy to get sharp. I mean, basic tools, anything you could use uh, S90V4 or um, S30V. No. The knife's a little bit smaller than the military. It's my basic knife. I compare things to, so I can see how much smaller it is, and the blade thickness is thinner so tips about the same but the overall blade thickness is thinner so the thickness behind the edge was the same at 25,000 so it's a really good slicer production knife wise so it's a really nice knife it's a high quality knife fit and finish is excellent somewhere I would say it's well above its price range I'm telling you fit and finish wise it's it's a I couldn't find any problem with it, so it's a really, really nice, nice knife. Did um, KDI did an excellent job building this thing. I mean, the steel heat treat and temperament was great. I mean, tempering is awesome with the steel. Holding is great. Didn't see any problems with the edge at all during testing, and it's just awesome. You can get the knife at KnifeWorks.com. They have them in stock, I believe this time and as you know I do testing for knife work so anyway go ahead and give them a stop by at knifeworks.com and take a look you should be able to get it it's a good knife great EDC I mean it looks like it's gonna make a really nice EDC blade I really like this knife a lot personally so and it's a really really nice knife alright that's about it for the review and as always, thanks for watching.